hi and welcome to today's tutorial video so in this video we are going to focus on another type of pronoun which is possessive pronoun previously we talked about subject pronouns and i will link the video so if you have any questions uh, regarding the use of subject pronouns you can just click on it but for today the focus will be on possessive pronouns so, what are possessive pronouns? They are actually pronouns that can be used to replace the noun. What are basically mine, his, hers, its, theirs, yours, and ours. So, these are basically pronouns that can be used to replace the noun. This is number one. Number two, they can be used by themselves, so and without the need to have a noun with them. For example, let's say I am talking about my book. So I say, this book is mine. So mine here is a replacement for the book. So this is how we can use um, possessive pronouns. Now what do we need to do? We need to look at some examples to know how we can use possessive pronouns in sentences. Let's have a look at the examples. So now we need to look at some examples to understand the meaning of possessive pronouns. As I told you in the beginning of the video that possessive pronouns are about pronouns that can be used by themselves alone without the need to have a noun with them all right so let's look at some examples we are talking about books someone come and ask whose book is this so in this case the answer will be this book this book is Mine. Mine, that means it's for me. So what happened is that we used mine alone without a noun. Meaning that we can't say this is or this book is my book. We can't say that. Like here, mine. Mine book? No, this is wrong. Why wrong? Because when it comes to mine, we can't use a noun with it. It has to be written by itself. The same thing goes to um, like other things. Like for example, we can say this book is hers, or this book is this, or this book is yours. Right? Or maybe if the question is about plural things, we can say these uh, books are theirs. Or yours. So this is basically for the plural part. But when it comes to the singular part, we can use hers, his, yours, if it's only for one person and mine right so what's happening we are using them by themselves without being connected to a noun so this is possessive pronouns and uh, when it comes to the question we can say whose book is this so the answer will be this is mine or this is hers and so on and if you have any questions Regarding uh, the use of possessive pronouns, just let me know in the comment section. Alright, so now it's an activity time. Let's start. Alright, so let's look at the sentences to know what is the right possessive pronoun. Number one, I have a new book. It is. So to know the answer, what do we need to do? We need to look at the subject pronoun. Where is the subject pronoun? It is I. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions on how to know subject pronouns, I advise you to check this video where I explained everything that is related to subject pronoun. So feel free to check that. Read. So let's look at the sentence. 
because the subject pronoun here is I, so it shows that I have a new book. So whose book is that? It is my book. The book belongs to me. So in this case, we use mine. It is mine. And again, we can't say it is mine book. Why? Because mine doesn't have a noun. So you have to be you have to be very careful with that. We can't use mine with a noun. That is why mine should be alone. It is mine. Okay? Let's look at number two. She has a new cat. It is. So, how to know the answer? We need to look at the subject pronoun. What is the subject pronoun here? It is she. And she goes to hers. So, it will be, it is hers. Number three. They have new pillows. It is. So, again, we need to look at the subject pronoun. The subject pronoun, they. So, that means it is theirs. They goes to theirs. Number four. We have new shoes. Right? They are. So, we need to look at the subject pronoun. And it is we. So, with we, we use ours. They are ours. That means those shoes belong to us. Number five. He has a new car. It is. So we need to look at the subject pronoun he. So he is, so that means with he we use his. It is his. And the last one, you have a new toy. It is. So again we need to look at the subject pronoun which is you. So with you we take yours. You have a new toy. It is yours. So basically this is how you can use possessive pronouns. What you need to do, you always need to look at the subject. You need to refer to the subject. By looking at the subject, you can tell what pronoun you need to use. Because as I told you in the beginning, with I, we take mine. Right? Like here we have mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. So these are basically the possessive pronouns that you need to use. But how can you choose the, the, the right one? By looking at the subject pronoun. And where is the subject pronoun? It's always in the beginning of the sentence. So this is how you can decide which possessive pronoun uh, you should use. I really hope you got my point from today's English grammar video. And if you have any questions on how to use possessive pronouns, just let me know in the comment sections. So this is uh, number one. Number two, if you like this video and you feel that you really understood everything that is related to possessive pronouns, please give it a like. And also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, alright? It's just a simple click that you need to do, alright? So, yeah, this is all. And uh, as for the upcoming video, the focus will be on possessive adjectives. So, if you have any questions on how to use possessive adjectives, again, subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when the, uh, when the video is uploaded. So, in this case, I wish you a happy day and I will see you on the next video. Bye!